drove me crazy. I was like, really? Three hours later, I would have known. So, let's do some math then, shall we? 12 ounce soda, right? Because it's not harm, it's just a little soda. 12 ounces of soda, 48 grams in there, we divide by four. How many teaspoons is in that little bit of soda? Whoa. Reality kicking in, huh? So let's do a little visual here, shall we? about 12 ounces of water, okay? Pour the rest in here. Man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Hold on a second. Mm. Delicious. Let's make it more delicious, shall we? Can you all count with me? Sure. How do I lose count here? Go for it. chance to make a difference and put us in a much better place 
as a society, as a country. Okay? Let's look at some more The real thing, though, is what was that number? If you want to turn grams into teaspoons so you can conceptualize it, what do you mean? Oh, we know that now. See how easy it is? <coughs> Divide by four. But here's the thing we have to now tie that information into what does it mean for your body, right? Everything is about your body's perspective. So the important thing is, how many teaspoons of sugar does the human body need to function not just okay, spectacularly well? Well, you need a little bit now. Yeah, there's some sweet. Yeah. Hold on! Now, of course, where are you going to get it from? We can get it from a variety of sources. I'm sure not saying grab that bottle and every day take one teaspoon and call me in the morning. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Uno. One. Your body to function expertly well needs one teaspoon of sugar in the bloodstream. Your body has approximately five liters of blood circulating through over 60,000 miles of blood vessels. That's how amazing your body is. It doesn't ask for much. But the little bit that it needs, as Dr. Cristiano was alluding to, it needs. And if it doesn't have it, what happens? Things go wrong. And what's one of the first signs? Fatigue. The most common symptom among all pathology. Fatigue. So, to end on this idea, what I want you to understand is, most people will do what with a soda? First of all, first of all, it's not just 12 ounces. Who's drinking a 12 ounce soda anymore, right? I have patients that come in and say, but Doc, I eat healthy. Really? Yeah, I drink only, you know, two liters of soda a week. Wow. <laughs> you have to keep a straight face and say, okay, we're gonna work on that. You know what I mean? Inside you're like, what? <laughs> Most people are going to guzzle. How many of you have gone to in and out <laughs> <laughs> I used to work there. <laughs> and so it was a trip because you watch people in the drive-thru and I literally, in the time that it took to get their money, get their change, come back, that burger is gone. <laughs> they are sucking on the straw with the ice and you make that sound, is, you know, coming up. They just put, in literally minutes, they took their bloodstream, their sugar in there, from one teaspoon up to 13 or more. And what's so amazing about your body is it can handle it for years. But once it can't handle it, what does it start doing? Can't convert the sugar, so diabetes, fatty, lab, excuse me, fatty liver syndrome, I mean, uh, headaches. It, it, it doesn't matter the name of the pathology, it's all the same. Your body's saying, what you're doing isn't working for me. And I need you to find somebody that can help us figure this out. That's what we do. That's what being a naturopath is all about. Figuring out this wonderful puzzle that your life story comes in as. So, we said it earlier, how many people feel easily overwhelmed? Or have felt that? Okay? I'm not that bad, am I? No, don't go nowhere. Oh, man. I try. <laughs> easily overwhelmed, right? If you take your bloodstream from one teaspoon of sugar to 13, or more in a matter of minutes, isn't that the same thing as being easily overwhelmed? And now you just figured out what mood is your food. There is a definitive correlation between how, what you eat and how your body performs. But what's so spectacular is that there's a definitive correlation between what you eat and how you feel. And how you feel tells us everything if you know how to decode some of those emotions, like easily overwhelmed and the correlation is sugar. Make sense? Okay. So, go ahead and turn those cards over. Let me deal again a little bit more. Who has that four of hearts? Oh, up there, four of hearts. Guess what you just got mommy? Nice. You just hooked mommy up for the brand spanking new book. And who has four diamonds? Bingo! Oh, bingo! There we go! Give her a round. This is Erica. <laughs> who has the four of clubs? I do. Four of clubs? Oh! I hope it tastes better when you're excited to try it. And who has the four of spades? Good health. One drop of full 
to a nice, I don't know, 20 ounces liquid cord. One uh, drop of cold, like 20 ounces, or a nice, you know, smart water or something like that. Totally good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can have this. There you go. Eight of hearts. <laughs> Uh, it's a uh, vital. What is this? Yeah. Vitality Works. Uh, I have seen it stock at um, Sprouts, and I know if you can't get it there, I'm going to give you my number at the end. You can call my office. We stock it as well. What's it called? Chlorophyll. <laughs> Very catchy title. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're days on the marketing of that. Yeah. We're, 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 all right. We're, 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 <laughs> So what we want you to understand, and real simple, is what does your body consider eating healthy? So I'm going to do a quick rundown because we're getting pressed for time on just what are these 16 principles. But I want you to know, these 16 principles are laid out in chapter 5 of my book in detail. But I also want you to know, if you're curious about those mitochondria that Dr. Cristiano was talking about, or some of those elements of detoxification, I think you should get all three of those books today and put them together. But if you want some more information on mitochondria, chapter 4. Because for us, as Teresa, who has studied with me in holistic nutrition, will tell you the key word when I ask any question in my classes is what? Mitochondria. We talk about it ad nauseum because it's the key to producing energy. And if you can produce energy, you can heal. That's what's so awesome about your body. So, what does the body consider eating healthy? 16 principles. Number one, do you have all the nutrients that the mitochondria need? Number two, are you using organic source foods with a high content of nutrient density in them? Are your meals free from delayed food allergens? And is your meal at least 60% alkalizing? Who's heard that word, alkalizing? Yes, we talk about that a lot in this book. <coughs> Does your meal have at least one green food? Is your meal filled with ORAC antioxidants? ORAC stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity. Two, got it. Does your meal have less than eight grams of refined sugar? How many teaspoons would that be? Two. 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 And what a lot of students choose to do as I teach them is when I see them designing their meals, zero. There's always zero now. They're like, I have my foods. I get everything that I need on my foods. Does your meal include something naturally sweet? Sweetness helps to actually calm a sense of being overwhelmed as long as it's from a natural source. Okay? Nine, are there eight to 12 grams of fiber in your meal? Does your meal have a raw fruit or vegetable? Are you preparing your meals using safe cookware? Are you preparing your meals using safe, environmentally friendly meats and fish? Number 14, are your friends and family around? It's a big deal. That's nutrition to me. Is the beverage you're having alkalizing, but also small size? A lot of times you see people that eat a little burger or something and the beverage is what? 32 ounces. You don't need that much at any point in time for any reason, let alone while you're trying to eat. It dilutes your hydrochloric acid. It gets in the way. And lastly, and here's a key one, can you burn those calories off in the same day? Right now our society is saddled with something very sad. 74.8% of the population is obese, overweight, or morbidly obese. And the thing that's so beautiful is that's something we can easily do a lot about by just teaching and making some different decisions. Okay? And that's what my book is there for you to do, help you make those decisions and hopefully have a little fun in the process of doing it. Heaven forbid you should heal and have a little fun too, right? Okay? So uh, I think that is going to be it for me. Uh, what I wanted to end off is just let you know if you're feeling fatigued, it's your body telling you we need to find help. And I would also say to you, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, you can feel free to give you a couple of contact points if you don't mind writing these down. You can always call my office. I have an awesome, awesome office manager named Julie. 480-284-8155. 480-284-8155. Our website is being revamped, but you can go to Genesis, G-E-N-E, S-I-S, healing.net. And lastly, if you're interested in studying with me and some of the things that you've heard today, our program is running in full force online and on campus at Southwest Institute of the Healing Arts, and we're hoping very soon to be offering it here at SCNM as well. Okay?
So thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day.